Hello, Marisol, how are you? Hello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está Marisol? Very well. Very well, excellent. Very good. Excellent, that you are just in time in the class. Vamos a esperar unos cuantos minutos, tal vez dos o tres minutos más, y vamos a iniciar con la clase, right? Esperando okay. que se conecten más compañeros. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, Ember. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. Very really good. Good to see you. Let me see. We're going to wait around two more minutes to see. Vamos a esperar dos minutos más a ver si algún otro compañero se conecta, right? Y vamos a comenzar. Okay, ya vamos con otro compañero. Let's wait. Hello, good evening, Renee. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm great. Thanks so much for asking. All right, everybody, welcome back to your class. It's a pleasure to have you in your English class. Thank you so much for being just in time. Today's date is Tuesday, October 5th, right? We are in section three. Where are you from? All right, section three. We are in class number six. So we have a couple of questions. Me gustaría esperar un minuto más, si no les molesta a ustedes, a ver si alguien más se conecta, porque tenemos una sección de, de recordatorios de la clase de ayer, y no estoy segura que todos se hayan conectado ayer, right? Por eso, vamos a esperar un minutito más a ver quién más se conecta. Ok. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mayra. How are you? I'm fine. Ah. Very good. Hi, Mayra, viene corriendo. <laughs> All right, but it's very good to have you in class. So let's okay. get started, everyone. We have these questions. We have four questions, right? Algunas de ellas son de crear y otras son preguntas normales. So tenemos number one. Create one sentence using this. Ustedes ya aprendieron a crear in questions utilizando this. Ahora creemos una sentence, un statement, una oración normal en afirmativa, en, en afirmativo, utilizando this, right? Ahora bien, me gustaría, si está dentro de sus posibilidades, cuando les toque presentar su oración, tengan el objeto cerca de ustedes y me lo muestren, right? Recuerden que es para un objeto que esté cerca de ustedes, all right? So, ahorita pueden crear su oración. Este es mi ejemplo. This is my cell phone. So, I have my cell phone over here, right? This is my cell phone. Let's work on that. Me avisen cuando hayan terminado.
finished? Let's see, let's see. What's meaning? I finished. Excellent, Mayra. Thank you. Let's wait one more minute. Eh, para los que necesitan más tiempito, right? Y luego vamos a comenzar. Okay. How do you say uh -huh. perfume or oh, splash? Perfume. Hola. Perfume. Uh -huh. Perfume okay. or splash? Si es splash, se dice splash. Splash. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Perfume is perfume. 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 Excellent. Very good. All right. So let's get started. Let's see and better tell me your sentence and show me your object. Uh, the sentence, this is my pen, these are my shoes. All right, you did too, excellent. Once again, excellent, very really good, all right? So there you have it, that's correct, we're doing great. What about Mayra? This is my favorite splash. Mm -hmm. Excellent, that's correct, thank you. Uh -huh. What about Renee? Sorry. Um, this is my wallet. All right. That's correct. Very really good. Singular, and you're showing your object. And what about Marisol? This is my pen. This is my, my game. Okay. All right. You did both. All right, excellent. Pero no le veo los objetos, Marisol. No sé si es porque no tienen la cámara encendida. No, no, no. Es que no, no. No, oh, it's not working. All right, it's okay. Thank Pero you. Pero sí es lo que tengo en la mano. O sea, el lapicero y llaves. All right, excellent. Very good. Excellent, everybody. Now, for the ones that didn't create this one, because we were in number one, you will have your time to create number two. Create one sentence using these okay remember the pronunciation hay una diferencia en la pronunciación este es this y este es these okay démosle esa entonación que merece excellent let me know when you're finished with number two How do you say anillos? Rings. Rings. Uh -huh, exactly. Déjeme ver, lo voy a escribir por aquí. Rings. Okay. Alba Torres. Alba Torres, bienvenida. Estamos trabajando en number two, all right? Create a question using these are. Recuerden que es para dos objetos. All right, let's get started. Let's see, Maida, what's your sentence about? Yeah. 
these are my rings. I said, very good. That's correct. Thank you. We're doing great. What about a uh, Rene Giron? These are my scissors. Excellent. Very good. Scissors. That's correct. Let me have Alba Torres, yours. Your microphone. And this my yours. All right. We, this is con is, right? This. This is my use. All right. Yes. Excellent. Y con R, donde tenga dos objetos. Uh, mm, there are my books. All right. This, these are my books. All right. Excellent. This. Remember everyone, recordemos. These plural. This singular, all right? Thank you. Let's, on. Let's go with number three. Mention the prepositions of place. Let's see. ¿Quiénes recuerdan las prepositions of place? ¿Las vimos el día de ayer en la clase? Under, behind. In front of. Next to. Behind. Oh, oh, there you have it. All right, excellent, everybody. Thank you. Good to hear that. All right. Yesterday, we were working with the prepositions of place. Mention at least three double H words. A cada uno le voy a ir preguntando y no hay problema con que se repitan. Let's see, René Giron, tell me three double H words. What, where, when. Excellent, that's correct. Mayra, tell me three double H words. What, who, how, when, where. Very good, thank you. Alba Torres, tell me three double H words. Um, when, where, how. Excellent, that's correct. Marisol Galdames, tell me three double H words. What, when? One more, una más. We, uh, or where? What, or where, right? Okay. Excellent, everybody. All right, excellent. Y let's see, Ember, a usted no le pregunto porque no estuvo ayer en la clase, right? Pero no se preocupe, vamos a hacer un review de eso. Recordarle siempre que si ustedes por A o B motivo no pueden entrar a la clase, porque yo comprendo a veces, se une todo un solo y no podemos, eh, pueden visualizarla en YouTube, all right? Ustedes pueden visualizarla por Facebook, por YouTube, en Instagram, no estoy segura si las suben las clases, pero still, ustedes pueden visualizarlas y así no se pierde el contenido. Eso es uno, y también el teacher siempre hace un pequeño review de lo que se vio el día anterior, right? Entonces, Mayra, ¿cuál es la structure for double H questions with me? It's double H word plus verb to be plus the subject plus complement plus question. Question mark. Question mark. Excellent, bravo Mayra, very good. Así me gusta que ya puedan decirme las estructuras. Excellent. So, we have double H words, ¿ok? <clears throat> Tenemos estas palabras. Como la estructura nos exige utilizar una double H word, vamos a utilizar una de estas. Let's see. So, Ember, can you read? Podría leer para qué utilizamos who y what. Aquí está la información. Oh, 
I think he went off. Creo que se salió. <laughs> All right. Quería hacer ese review porque ayer no estuve en la clase y quería que estuviera ya con esto, pero bueno. Let's move on. <laughs> Movámonos, avancemos. Let's see. Después puedo regresar a eso. All right, let's continue. Recuerdan que ayer estuvimos practicando con esto. Mayra, ¿usted fue la que me escribió ahora en la mañana? Sí. Ay, que no le dio la plata. Sí. Que no había visto su nombre y entonces yo dije, bueno, a saber quién sea, pero yo le voy a contestar. Gracias. Es que con la plataforma hay que buscarle el lado, si es mayúscula, sí. si es minúscula, lleva punto al final. Ya vio, ¿verdad? Que hay que buscarle sí. el lado, exacto. All right. Eh, veamos por el lado de Alba Torres. ¿Cómo le va, Alba, con los ejercicios? Eh, pues me va bien. Ahorita bien? Eh, había tenido problemas por lo mismo de que dice Mayra, de que los puntos, los espacios, pues uno le escribe bien, pero por eso eh, le da mala respuesta. Mm -hmm. Excelente. Sí, es cierto. Eso estaba comentándole a Mayra, por ejemplo, ahora en la mañana yo les decía ayer que no le fueran a poner address this book, all right? Y que newspaper, por ejemplo, ayer en otro grupo, siempre de beginners, me dice el estudiante, mire, teacher, yo estoy poniendo newspapers, newspapers, y está bien porque es newspapers. ¿Cuántos newspapers tenemos? Uno o dos, le digo. Uno. Entonces, ¿por qué me le está agregando la S a newspapers aquí para hacerlo plural? ¿Ah? Right? Entonces, con todas esas cositas tenemos que tener cuidado porque si no lo va a tirar mal. Y también en algunas ocasiones lo podríamos poner separado y lo va a tirar mal también. Right? Excellent. Bueno, veamos. Ya regresó Ember. Welcome back. Entonces, hoy sí, nos hacen la lectura de esto, por favor, porque me interesa que ustedes lo tomen en cuenta. Eh, the who y what? Yes. Who and what? Who asking about person? What asking about thing or idea? Excellent, thank you, right? Puede tomar una screenshot si usted lo desea o puede escribirla. Voy a tener a María Montano porque tampoco la vi ayer en la clase. Welcome, María. Hi. Me hace el favor de leer when and where, please. When and where? Mm -hmm. When? When asking about time, we're asking about place. Excellent. About place. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Marisol, read the information about why and how. We asking about a reason. We asking about a why of doing so many things. All right. Thank you, Marisol. Entonces, no, no nos olvidemos. Ya les mencionaba anteriormente la structure para el double H questions would be. Más adelante la vamos a volver a ver. Creo que en esta clase también. Pero quiero que lleven en mente la pronunciation. Who. Aquí no voy a decir who porque no existe el who, ¿verdad? Solo voy a decir who, what, when, where, why, how. Miren la pronunciation. How. Si es necesario que yo abra bien mi boca, lo voy a hacer para transmitir bien el sonido, right? How, excellent. Aquí no es how, no es wow, how. All right, estuvimos practicando con eso ayer, les mencionaba algunos examples que sería muy provechoso que ustedes los tomen en cuenta. Hicieron muy bien los ejercicios ayer, les comentaba, excellent. Y pues por último veíamos las prepositions. Para terminar ya esa sección, ayer veíamos las prepositions. Que tenemos in, in front of, behind, next to, under. All right? Excellent. Trabajamos en estos ejercicios que espero que ya todos hayan finalizado. Section 2. Y les mencionaba, les daba copia. No, just kidding. <laughs> no les daba copia. Solo les estaba mencionando cómo podríamos hacer estos exercises. All right? Let's go with practice time. Entonces, ayer terminábamos ya con las prepositions of place. Pero, ¿qué más tenemos? Instructions. René, Girón, por favor, ¿puede leer las instructions? Work individually. <coughs> Create one sentence using any object that you want. You need to use preposition. 
Excellent. Thank you. All right. So, vamos a crear una sentence. Ya saben ustedes que en sentence es oración o un fact, algo que es realidad, right? The sentence utilizando any object that you want, pero utilizando prepositions, right? Remember prepositions. Okay, let's work on that, please. Let me know when you're finished. Yes. Yes, Mary. Yes, Mary? Yes, I finished. Oh, all right, exit. Very good. Let's work. Let's get started, right? So, I finished. Excellent, Alba. Okay, Alba Torres, nos regala su oración, please. These are sunglasses in the table. All right. There are some glasses in the table. Así sería con el there are. Vaya. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ayudarle aquí. En este caso podemos utilizar el there are. There is, perdón. There is. A pair of sunglasses in the table. All right, porque estoy utilizando there is, teacher. Si ya habíamos visto que se puede utilizar el there are, right? Porque estamos hablando en plural clases. Bueno, estoy siendo bien específica aquí al poner a pair, right? Un par. Entonces, por eso necesito utilizar el is, there is. Right. Excellent. Thank you, Albita. Si tienen alguna pregunta sobre el uso de las prepositions of place, me dejan saber, por favor. Mayra, please tell me your sentence. Your microphone. I forget. My notebook is under the cell phone. Excellent, wow, very good, excellent, that's correct. Um, let me have René Giron, your sentence. My cell phone, my, my cell phone is in, on, is in my desk. All right, excellent, it's in my desk, very good. What about Ember Dominguez? The pen is on the table. That's correct. Thank you. Simple, right? Let me have Maria Montano, please. My book is on the table. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Marisol Galdames. This is a golden chain. 
This is a golden chain, but we're using prepositions, prepositions of place. Recuerda, estas son las prepositions of place. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under, right? Entonces, su oración tenía que tener una de esas prepositions. No se preocupe, si quiere le doy un poquito más de tiempo para que la complete, right? Excelente. Okay. Okay. Excelente. No se preocupen. La verdad es que si son temas que nunca habíamos visto, tenemos que practicar mucho para que se nos quede, right? Por eso tenemos estos practice times. Let's see. Conversation. A review from Seoul, right? Finally, section three. Let's move on from the review. I'm going to have. Bye. Voy a hacer la primera lectura de la conversation. Pay attention to the pronunciation y luego van ustedes, right? Team, oh, no, yeah, team. <laughs> Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, Seoul, Seoul. No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. All right. Now, let's practice. I'm going to have Maria Montano. You are Jessica. Rene Hiron, you are team. Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. But we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So it's your language Korean? Yes, it is. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. No mistakes. We're doing great. Just remember, this is for everybody in here is originally, originally, all right? Let me have Mayra, Lisette, you are Jessica, and Ember Rodriguez, you are team, action. Are you from California, Jessica? Mayra, your mic. Hmm, I think she's not in here. Let's see, Marisol, you are Jessica, please. Action. Well, my family is in California. No, but where for Korea original? Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Uh, no. Where no? From Seoul. Seoul. Where you from? There you are. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Everyone, remember, in double negative, no, we're not. Esa te suena, not, right? Porque si yo digo no, we're not, estoy repitiendo lo mismo. Y aquí es double negative, all right? Doblemente negativo. <laughs> no, we're not, not, right? Let's make that intonation. Ahora sí, I'm going to have Alba Torres. You are Jessica y Mayra. Are you there, Mayra? Está ahí, Mayra? No sé si se habrá levantado para hacer algo. Pero bueno, Alba Torres, you are Jessica, I'm team. Yo voy a ser team, all right? Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, 
My family is in California now. But we're from Korea. Korea. Oh, my mother is Korean. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dayong. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. That's correct. Thank you. Right? Thank you, Alba. All right, everyone. With this, we have practiced our speaking ability. Let's see what else do we have. Negative statements and just no questions with B. All right? Esto es lo que tenemos. Listen. Primero escuchen mi pronunciation, my pronunciation, y luego les toca a ustedes. I'm not from New York. I'm not from New York. You're not late. You're not late. She's not from Russia. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. He's not from Italy. It's not English. It's not English. We're not from Japan. We're not from Japan. You're not early. You're not early. They are not in Mexico. They are not in Mexico. Okay, vamos a practicar solo con esta parte. Let me have René Giron. You are going to read one and two, please. Sentences one and two. I am not from New York. You are not late. Thank you. Ember Dominguez, three and four. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. Thank you. Alba Torres, five and six. We're not from Japan. You're not early. Right? Se nos saltó el leads, pero bueno. Let me have. Thank you, Alba. Okay. <laughs> Marisol Galdames, can you please read this sentence y luego la última? Esta oración y luego la última. It's not English. Mm -hmm. Where? No. They not in Mexico. Excellent. Very good. All right, everybody. Recuerdan que las veces anteriores, cuando veíamos el verb to be, yo les mencioné que most of the time, la mayoría de tiempos, se utilizan las contractions. Bueno, esto es un claro ejemplo de eso, right? Ahora, ya vimos la pronunciación de esto con el negativo. Recordemos, ese not tiene que llevar la T. Not, right? Luego vamos con estas questions. Are you from California? Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? All right, we're doing good. Ahora vamos a practicar. Voy a tener a Mary Montano. Can you please read one and two? Okay. Are you from California? Am I early? Excellent, thank you. Mayra, two and four. No, three and four, sorry. Is she from Brazil? Is she from Chile? Thank you. Marisol Galdames, five and six. It, is it Korean? Are you from China? Thank you. Alba Torres, seven and eight. Alba Torres, your microphone. Yeah. 
Las últimas dos. Are we late? Are they in Canada? Excellent. Thank you, right? Now, Ember Dominguez, read one, two, and three, please. Are you from California? Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Thank you. René Giron, four, five, and six. René, are you there? What, what, what number, sorry? Four, five, and six. Four, five. Sería, is he? Is, okay. Is he from Chile? Is it Korea? Are you from China? Excellent, thank you, All right? Now, tenemos, la, el, tenemos el subject pronoun con el verb to be de este lado. Las respuestas a las, a las preguntas. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, she is. Yes, he is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. Right? Aquí lo decimos de forma larga, pero en negative tenemos contractions. Ya no necesito hacerlo de forma larga, right? No, I'm not. No, you're not. No, she's not. No, he's not. No, it's not. No, we're not. No, you're not. No, they are not. All right? Very good. Vamos a practicar this pronunciation. Uh, voy a comenzar con María Montano, please. Tell me the first four answers. Las primeras cuatro respuestas utilizando yes. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, she is. Yes, he is. Excellent, thank you. René Giron, las últimas cuatro respuestas, please, utilizando yes. I'm sorry, it's in your. Yes, oh. it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. Thank you. Ember Dominguez, the first four uh, answers in negative, please. I'm not. You're not. She's no. not. Y el oh. No, I'm not. No, you're not. No, she's not. No, he's not. Excellent, thank you. Mayra, please, the other four using no. Uh, where? No, it's not. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we're not. No, you're not. No, they're not. That's correct, thank you, right? Estas son las respuestas a estas preguntas. Les están dando las dos posibilidades. Either positive, which is affirmative, or negative, right? Tenemos esas dos. Pero veamos qué más se nos dice de este tema. Veo que están tomando notas algunos. It's okay, pueden hacer.
All right, let's move forward to see what else do we have. Formula, formula or the structure, right? Sentences, esto es para oraciones, but in negative. Tenemos subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. Ver cómo leemos esta, esta estructura, esta structure. Let me see, María Montano, read it, please. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. Thank you. Marisol Galdames, please, your turn. So plus verb to be plus not plus complement. Excellent. René Giron, please read the structure. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. Thank you. Alba Torres, read the structure, please. Uh, subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, let me have Ember Dominguez tell me the structure, please. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. That's correct. Thank you. And Maida, please tell me the structure. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. That's correct. All right, that's it. ¿verdad? A todos se nos quedó ya cómo sería esta structure. Está bien basic, bien básica y fácil. Guiding examples, all right? Guiémonos un poquito con los examples. Voy a tener a Ember Dominguez. You read number one. Usted lee la uno. Mayra number two. Alba Torres Street. Action. Marilyn is not from El Salvador. I'm not a good student. You're not part of my family. Excellent. Thank you. Rene Giron, number four. Mary, number five. Action. Casey is not my brother. Thank you. Mary, it's number not, five? Yes. It's not cloudy today. Excellent. Very good. All right. Entonces, tenemos Marlene is not from El Salvador. I'm not a good student. You're not part of my family. Casey is not my brother, and it's not cloudy today, all right? Let's see, ¿tienen alguna pregunta de acuerdo a este vocabulario de estas oraciones? No. No, everything clear. Excellent, very good, all right? Entonces, veamos, recordemos la structure, subject plus verb to be, plus not plus complement. Entonces yo tengo mi subject, which is Marilyn, my verb to be, which is, is, my negative not, y lo demás, complement, all right? Lo mismo aquí, recuerden, ustedes pueden utilizar nombres en vez de poner el subject directamente, y se sabe, se toma, que el nombre sería el subject, For example, Casey o Marilyn, se toman que esos son los subjects, right? Es como si estuviera tácito el I o el you, pero lo tienen ahí. All right? ¿Estamos claros con la estructura y cómo se va a organizar esto? Porque si me muevo a la practice. All right. Practice time. Instructions. Mayra, please, read the instructions. Work individually. Create one sentence using verb to be in negative. Share your sentence with the class. Excellent, thank you, all right? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? One sentence, pero no, one sentence es muy basic ya para ustedes. Vamos a crear uh, three sentences, all right? Tres oraciones. Let's work with this, please.
Ok, everyone, ya regreso, me regalan un segundito, ya regreso, right? All right, have you finished? Todavía no, no se preocupen. Te voy a dar dos minutos más, all right? Excellent, very good. I'm here, teacher. All right, very good. So let's get started with this practice. I'm going to start with Alba Torres. Please tell me your sentences. Anna is not from Chilean. Uh, she is not a pilot. Uh, Alexis is not my friend. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you, Alba. Excellent sentences. Ember Dominguez, your sentence? We are not good to eat. It is not mine. Mario is not my cousin. All right, that's correct. Very good. Maria Montano. Mary, eh, le falló un poquito el audio porque no se le escuchó muy alto, pero sí logré escuchar algunas de sus examples, all right? But thank you. Let me go with René Girón, please. I am not from Mexico. You are not my parents. I am not a doctor. Excellent, very good. Me agrada que utilizó un you are. Vaya, se fijaron ustedes que hay un you are que se repite dos veces, ¿verdad? En las tablas, no sé si en las tablas que les he mostrado a ustedes se repite, pero usualmente lo van a ver. Ese you are se utiliza así como lo utilizó René ahorita. Parents, para cosas, para personas plurales, no, para plural nouns, right? O para plural subjects, se puede utilizar. Y está el you are que es para singular, ¿verdad? Como you are beautiful. Oh, you are my parents. You are not my parents, como dijo él, right? Está bien, muchas gracias, Lene. Excellent. Y let me see, Mayra, please. Yaga is not in the garden. I am, I'm not very tall. <laughs> Today, it's not raining. Exactly, very good, very good. Now let's go with Marisol. Hello, 
Juan is not from Korea. This is show are not Joe. She won't go to school. All right. Ahí me utilizó un futuro. She won't go. Ahorita estamos en simple present, right? Entonces, no podemos utilizar el want. El want es negativo, pero para el futuro, right? Ya ese es otro tema gramatical. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for your sentences. It was pretty good. Let's move on, right? Formula or the structures. Let me see. Yeah, that one is different. Just no questions with be, ¿ok? Entonces aquí, ¿qué tenemos? Verb to be, es, aquí estamos en simple present, everybody, all right? Verb to be plus subject plus complement. Así de fácil. Solo tres cositas. Verb to be, subject, complement. No más, no me complico. No hay de dónde sacarle más, right? Para el simple present. Let's see. I don't have examples in here, pero vamos a quedarnos hasta aquí porque creo que esto ya continúa con el otro tema que voy a darles mañana, all right? Solo quiero mostrarles algo. A ver, ¿se recuerdan ustedes que desde la first eh, class, desde la primera clase, yo les dije que cada vez que alguien les pregunte, how are you? Nosotros podemos variar las feelings, right? Entonces tenemos este vocabulary aquí. When you listen to this question, to this question, how are you? Answer. I'm worried. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm tired. For example, ayer Mayra me preguntó cómo se dice cansado, right? Y yo le expliqué que era tired. Entonces así podemos empezar a hacer uso ya de estos feelings. Con estas cosas que parecen pequeñas, ya comenzamos a hacer uso de lenguaje, right? Which is English. Así que vamos a preguntar. Um, let me see, Amber Dominguez, how are you? Puedes coger cualquiera de estos feelings. I'm excited. Excellent, very good. Thank you, I'm excited. Mayra, how are you? I'm happy. Excellent, really good. All right. Quiero darles la pronunciation de esta. Esta sería scared, right? No es scared. 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 Luego tenemos esta. Surprised. 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 Angry. Right? Angry. Let me see if I can move on this. Esta, esta es un poquito complicada. Frustrated. Frustrated. Right? Frustrated. Luego tenemos worried. Worried. Let's see, René Girón, how are you today? I am surprised. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. Marisol, how are you today? I am angry. Excellent, very good. I know it's an <laughs> excellent, Marisol. <laughs> very good. Y yo, excellent. Y después, I know it's an <laughs> Maria Montano, how are you today? I'm so tired, teacher, because the similar in the imagine. Oh, really? Yes, I imagine you're tired. All right, but it's good to have you in class. Ya casi terminamos, right? Alba Torres, how are you? I'm tired. Tired, all right, excellent. Very good, everybody. Con esto terminamos la clase. It was a pleasure to have you. Ha sido un placer en esta clase. Recuerden avanzar en la plataforma. No nos quedemos atrás con esa plataforma. Sí, Mayra. Miss, can you pronounce frust frustrado? <laughs> frustrated. Fr frustrated. I'm frustrated. Frustrated. Okay. Frustrated. That's correct. Frustrated. All right. Very good. Excellent. 
All right, everyone. Bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.